Hey guys, what's up? So it's a mission top best shirts. It's 5 11, 12, 13, and 14. The first week is called Valerius. And it brings your weather and calendar events right uh, to your home screen. Next week is called Rhino. And this is one of the best Instagram tweets. So you download the Instagram app from the App Store. And you have these all these features right here. You have user features, story features, pro features. And yeah, download all images and videos to the highest quality. No media configuration is needed. This is called Sumo Mis uh, Mid Suto. It, um, basically what this tweet does. Uh, beautiful notification banner tweak. This is called light checking. A free application running in the background will identify a static location when you're not moving. Remind you to check in your Facebook account uh, with fast interface. Uh, you need to open the mass Facebook application. So easy. And there's another tweet called Likeify. Easily and quickly like the songs on Spotify. You can download that at the Chip Hub page. This is called Spotify No Podcasts and Hide Podcasts from Home. Uh, from the Spotify Home and Search pages. This is called Enchant, Enhance Your Notifications. This is called Color Badges or Color Badges Packets and they allow you to modify badges based on the app um, icon and colors. This is called PI Import, uh, Photo Importer directly from the photo app, compared with Iris 11 the fo uh, through 14. This is called CA Certificates or CA Search, CA Search for Serial, uh, CURL, WGET, and uh, JIT. This is called Puck, your magical watch and spirit, uh, prevent the need of jailbreaking. This is called Estafo, Estafo Siri. Uh, as an image to the Siri view. Next is called strip, uh, strip count or stripe count for Zebra. So you can see the number of, of installed packages. So it can be configured to show the uh, count of all packages or just DYLIBS. It is tested on the latest stable version. So yeah, it does not require a respring or a take effect. Next is called Vignol and a simplified look for the Lashing music player. Next is called GPS Faker Expert and simple GPS faking assistant but with a useful feature with great stability. This is called Etznon, and a tweet that makes it easy to access your iOS device's file system from your PC. This is called Gesto for iOS 13 and 14. It's also one for Gesto for iOS 11 and 12. Depending on what iOS version you have, it depends on which one you install. Just for iOS 13 and 14, support the iPhone iPad up to iOS 14.x. iPads don't support multi side. This tweak enhances iOS multitasking view. Being a powerful yet familiar with the native looking design and gorgeous animations. This tree is called Drain Check. Monitor your battery drain with the control center module. You can also use activated start or stop drain checks battery monitoring with any action of your choice. So you basically just turn it on and then you know say so you want to go you'll see you want to see how much battery you lose when you go to sleep. You could obviously do this by looking at your percentage if you're 100 percent or let's say 99 percent You know, when you wake up, check it, and then you can see what percent at now. Or you just uh, instead of doing the math or remembering or whatever, you just enable this tweak before you go to bed and then when you go to sleep you know and then you check the tweak like turn off the control center module and tell us exactly how much percentage of battery uses um or lost this is called os logger display all the app ns logs also they add a new option to like print and stop and start recorded which is called fancy selection customize the ios text selection or copy or paste menu this week requires iOS 13.4 and up to use. And this week's called, and last week is called Poja App Launcher, iOS Dev. This is basically brings Minecraft Java Edition to iOS. So I know I've been making a video on this tweak a lot. It's just, it's been updated a lot, I don't have to tell you. Um, I'm actually going to do one more tweak, just because it's uh, news for And last week is called YouTube Reborn, and there is news involved in this tweak. Unfortunately, not good news. So, um, I, I hate making this video, not this video, but saying this part but it's true and i want to let you guys know um a lot of people do use youtube reborn i use personally use sir but youtube reborn is a great alternative it's like a youtube plus plus alternative i use sir cube it's just the banner at the, the bottom is annoying but sir cube does work great um unfortunately the developer sarah h uh 12099 who made this and you know developed and who updates and this is their tweak right here youtube reborn um, fortunately the developer they sent like a tweet post or like on reddit there was a post saying that they're not going to like they're not going to continue working. They're going to they're stop working on YouTube Reborn because they got like harassments. So they got you know they get basically harassed constantly um, about you know updating it, about just you know working on it, about you know what's not working, what's you know. And then they also um, they had well Sarah also also got uh, death threats some by somebody involved in the tweak. So it's just too much for her, too much stress. I mean, you know this is a free tweak, so literally they make no money from this, and said they just get harassed and bullied and death threat which is awful and this is an awful 
the community, the Jerry community could be great, but also at the same time, it could be very, very toxic. Um, you know, you got to respect developers, respect their personal lives, and just give them space and time to update their tweets. If they don't, they don't. I mean, this is a free tweak anyway. If you paid for it, I can kind of see why you're upset. Um, you paid for it, you want to work. But if you haven't, if it's free, you can't really complain. Uh, just appreciate the, all the work the developer has done, you know. But, uh, yeah, so as of now, this developer is not going to continue working on YouTube Reborn because of the death threats and harassment. And that's, yeah. So if you guys do use this tweak, if it does get broken in the near future or whenever, there will not be any updates unless the developer comes back to it. But you guys, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.